What do you do if you're a middle-aged nurse with a broken man picker? You've been divorced for 14 years. You've raised four kids and you're an empty nester. What do you do? Yes, start a YouTube channel and you see the freaking world. Welcome to This Is Our Life with Catherine and Friends. Here we are on our adventure, on our way. Say hi, Lisa. Hi. And Lisa got to sit next to me, even though she didn't want to pay for an upgrade. But guess what? Are you really going there? <laughs> when I put my video together. Yay. Okay. All right, we're going to Chicago, and we're like, we're going to convince. Lisa's going to run to the gate and tell them I'm coming. <laughs> I'm a former flight attendant, but I didn't get to see a lot of the world. I settled down pretty young, had four kids, and became a registered nurse. Right now is my time. My friends and I are ready, willing, and able. So this was our first adventure to Greece. We went to several locations and it was amazing. It was definitely an adventure. We had our share of mishaps, like a broken finger, a blown out tire, Got locked in a bathroom. You'll see. Stick with us. All right, we'll folks, we've been clear for takeoff. Here we go, ready for takeoff. I talked to the um, flight attendant and I was like, oh, I was America West, right? Because America West is American now. And then he was like, super nice. And then he's like, oh, what's your friend drinking? And I'm like, nothing. And he's like, well, what is she like to drink? And I'm like, vodka. 
and then he brings over a drink and then she didn't want to drink it. So I drank it along with my wine. So anyways, we're almost <laughs> on our plane going to Greece. I'll see you to, I'll see you tomorrow tomorrow. Not tomorrow, but tomorrow tomorrow. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. This is the captain speaking. Uh, just about ready to depart. We should be away on schedule in the next couple of minutes or so. Flight time will be 9 hours and 40 minutes. We'll eventually reach a cruising altitude of 35,000 feet. We'll do our best to give you a smooth flight over two minutes is always a possibility for that reason. It's a company policy to recommend that you keep your land strap securely fastened throughout the flight. And let's board to the cabin crew. Alright. You're as bad as a Say hi, Lisa. You're as bad as a 20 year old. 20 year old what? In her phone. Okay. We're going on our trip. Ladies and gentlemen, very shortly we'll be ready for departure. So all your mobile phones and electronic devices should be switched off. I will. We're on a plane with a lot of people. Say hi to my friend Paul. Say hi. Lisa won't take her sunglasses off. And this is my new friend, Cassandra. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> what? Why can't you eat this? Because they have gluten in them. Where are you going, Lisa? Where's Lisa going? I'm going to your mom's house. Yeah. My mom's house, my dad's house, maybe we can find it. Oppa! It's really cute, but we had a major mishap trying to figure out how to get in. We got in. The driver just dropped us off. Didn't know which apartment it was, so we couldn't figure it out and everything's in Greek. So we finally found a key that fit one of the doors in this building because there's like six units in here. And then it went open. But then we called them and they told us how to open. Then we get in here and we can't turn on the lights or anything but as you see now we've solved that problem but it's cute look and um anywho oh you don't want to be my instagram story changing okay um so anywho we figured out by texting the person again um that you have to turn some of this stuff on here. 
And then tip number one, learn from our mistakes. We didn't stay in the placa the first night. So we did go out and about and walk through the streets of La Placa, underneath the Acropolis. And La Placa is like a little village in its own. It has that feel of being on a Greek island, but it is literally under the Acropolis. But like I said, learn from our mistakes. Our phones died. We couldn't find our way back to our Airbnb. We asked directions and people looked at us like we were a bunch of crazy American tourists, which, you know, who can argue? But the placa is amazing and it's wonderful. And as you will see, we did stay in the placa area the next day. And I highly recommend the Airbnbs that are right there in the placa area. The placa is, according to the AthensGuide.com, the placa is the oldest section of Athens. Now, a lot of the streets are closed to automobile traffic, but you do need to watch out because there are mopeds and bicycles and other things that do come kind of tearing through there. But my advice, stay in the Placa area when you're in Athens. Don't be like Kathy and Lisa and get lost and wander the streets of a foreign country at night on no sleep for the last 32 hours. Bad, bad, bad. That was tip number one. I, with today, I don't even know what day it is. What day is it over there? I got to, Ath- well, okay, see, we left Orange County on Wednesday, right? Wednesday? Yeah, Wednesday at um, 10, 45 a.m. our flight left. Then we went to Chicago, had a quick plane change, and then all the way here. Got here to Athens on Thursday afternoon at noon. Um, and then we got to our Airbnb finally, whatever. And then we decided not to go to sleep. It is 11 PM here right now on Thursday. So if I woke up yesterday at 6 30 AM and you guys are, what time is it there? Okay, so if it's 11 here, it's. 1 p.m. there, so I have been awake for 6 a.m. would be 24 hours, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, like 32 hours. I think I did pretty good, but I got, somehow I got a bruise, and my feet are blistered. I don't know what happened there, and... We we decided we were just going to be on Greek time, and so we went, and it was super quiet, and everything was fine when we left, the Airbnb after we got here, but then we stayed gone all day, and we took some cool pictures, and saw the Acropolis, and went to the pocket, and all that stuff, but then our phones died, because we didn't take the charger, and then we just got completely lost coming back, and we didn't have the right address, and I have no idea how we got back here, but we're back. Clearly, it was bedtime. So, stay tuned. Here comes day two. By Airbnb, day one. We're glad we got to sleep here. We almost had to sleep on the street. Bye. Goodness, we didn't have to go up all those stairs. And welcome to Athens, Greece. This is day two. This is day two of my trip to Greece and Lisa's day one. Say hi, Lisa. And we are gonna take you on a beautiful tour of the Grecian world. <laughs> day two, so much fun. Hopped a taxi, took it to our next Airbnb in the park area with a beautiful view of the Acropolis and waited for my cousin Annie and her daughter Kristen to show up. Now the fun began. Established in 1909, Bredos is a very super cool little place right in the placa. 
You can get your ouzo on there, and that's for sure. But they make their own liqueurs and all kinds of other little drinks too. Love their shelves, their colorful shelves, their bottles are lit, and they encourage you to experiment. We tried the number three in the level of ouzos that they have there. Awesome. Forbes, National Herald, Telegraph UK have all recommended Bretos. Don't miss it when you are at the Placa in Athens, Greece. Check out their website, brittosplaca.com. You know, our first night was amazing. Second day was great. But by this time, we were no longer jet lagged. We went to a beautiful restaurant with a view of the Parthenon, the Acropolis, and we had coffee the next day below our Airbnb, and we took the tour of the Acropolis. It was hot, go early. So tip number two, go in the earliest part of the day. There are pickpockets, so be very careful. Take a tour. You learn so much about history. So much. Okay, I told you we are completely Greek, my heritage. This guy in the blue shorts is my uncle's doppelganger. It is so bizarre. I showed it to my cousins, his kids, and we all about lost our minds. How much he is exactly my uncle's twin. Man, I'd love to see Andre Bocelli here. The Odeon of Herodes Atticus. It's a stone Roman theater. It's, the structure is located on the southwest slope of the Acropolis. The building was completed in 161 AD and then renovated in 1950. Wouldn't it be amazing to sit there and watch a concert? I think so. I need to go back. This trip was especially amazing because this is where my heritage lies. But for anyone that loves the world, to see the world and loves history, to stand on these ancient ruins and to be back in time, it takes your breath away. It truly does. It is hot up there, like hot. And we were in the first tour. So I will not say this enough. If you are there in the summer, go early. Watch your pocketbook and enjoy the experience. It was extremely windy as well. Very windy. And we were there the first week of September. It's kind of still that way. <laughs> like what is argument? No. Conversation. Mm -hmm. What is conversation without any dialogue? You cannot have democracy. So that's right. That's right. See? That makes sense, see? That's our whole politics system. Once we finished our tour of the Acropolis, we worked our way down where we passed the dogs of Greece. And FYI, they have an excellent program. They tag them, they vaccinate them, and they let them out. The dogs are healthy and they are friendly. We came across this little man 
in the alleyway and sat down to listen to his beautiful music. Yeah. Oh, just hold this and I can take a picture. It's, it's, it's video. Video him. Yeah. Gotta get him my money's worth <laughs> Let's sing uh, Havana Gila with them. Havana Gila. Black <laughs> music. Thank you. Black music. Black music. Black music. Black At this point, it was time for lunch, and I had scoped out a place that I saw from another YouTube creator by the name of Mark Weens. I have his link in the description below. He does a much better job of showing you this restaurant, but the name of it is Deporto, and it was authentic, and it was great. You get what they serve. There's no menu. There's no sign. It's in the older side of Athens near the Central Market. But oh my gosh, such amazing feel for being in Athens. And the food was to die for. And super cheap, I might add. So we are at the Porto, the Porto. You don't get a menu here. They just start bringing you food. And it is yummy. Look at this. <laughs> I told everybody they were going to be sick of me with my camera. There we are. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
With full bellies and very little taken out of our pocketbook after that amazing meal at Deporto, we walked the streets of Athens to the sausage store and the store with all the Greek spices and oregano. Amazing. Brought home some oregano and spices and olive oil and wished I would have brought it. with a beautiful view of the Acropolis. Dionysus Zonars, beautiful restaurant in the heart of Athens. Here's their website. History under the beautiful, uh, under the beautiful Acropolis is nestled in the shadow of the rocks of the Acropolis in the heart of historic center of Athens. This establishment, symbol of classic, simplicity, elegance, and a synonym of finesse and sophisticated taste, brings together a high gluttony experience and the culture of the city. The incomparable advantage of Dionysus is its location, a rendezvous with history, an encounter with culture, and a promenade through monuments. It's a gorgeous place. The food was outstanding. The menu was to die for. And we had an amazing, amazing time. Check it out. (laughs) 
In Greece, everything shuts down at 2 p.m. and opens back up around dinner time. Everyone takes naps. The Airbnbs have these big, um, have these big shutters that close, and the place is pitch dark because everyone takes their nap in the day. But at night, the world comes alive, and we decided to go ahead and experience it. Watch. So it is. What time is it? 12.32 a.m. We have acclimated into becoming official Greek late night people walking the streets <laughs> like it's the middle of the afternoon. This is what my sister said. Elaine, you're totally right. Uh, of, uh, 12.34. I have got all my circles in yesterday on my watch. And so now my watch started over. So now I am on today, Sundays. I might even get my steps in before the night is over. Yesterday, or the first day, we went up there the first day. Yeah, I kind of did the, 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 the restaurants up there. So much fun to experience the culture, stay up all night, which I haven't done in uh, decades, <laughs> and um, just enjoy the atmosphere and the culture. It was an amazing night, but things do shut down at some point, I guess, because they have to get up in a few hours to start all over. Hi, cool. hey, kitty, kitty, kitty. This one's pregnant. Yeah, it smells bad. This one, I know, I smell cat pee. But they need... And this oh, one is I'm somebody that has a very home. a bunch of colors. And this one is oh the black one over they there. Have four balls. Yeah, they have four balls in there. Hi, hi, kitty. Oh, they must think we have something. Oh, hi. You look like Zig. Hey. Tiger cats are the friendliest, I think. Yeah, that's yeah. my zinc. Scared me. <laughs> oh, you guys got food up there. Look at that. There's all kinds of kibble up there. Look, somebody put kibble there for you. Yeah, he was across. And look, they have food over there too. Oh, hi, orange cat. Everybody's out at night. Oh, she's pregnant. She is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Kathy, she might need your assistance. I know. Do you want to have your babies right now? You don't look very far along. <laughs> the next morning, we took a taxi back to the airport to rent our car so that we could explore more of this beautiful country of Greece. Part two, we go to Nafoktos, which is my dad's and Annie's family's village that they were born and raised in. And then we go to the island of Lakata. We go to Parga. And we have some amazing stories to show you. We're just getting started. Thanks for watching and see you in part two.